Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, we are talking peptides. Now, for those who have been with the channel some time, you'll know I'm passionate about peptides, one of my favourite suite of ingredients to incorporate into my skincare routine. Peptides have been around for years, but for some reason, they're gaining a lot of hype and attention at the moment. In fact, I read a couple of articles recently that declared peptides to be like the viral skincare ingredient of 2024. There are a lot of new peptide serums and products on the market, so I thought now would be a great time to talk about peptides. What they can do, what are their limitations, so that each and every one of you watching will go into your peptide journey knowing exactly what to expect and how to pick the right one for your individual skin's needs. Of course, at the end of this video, I'll share with you some of my personal multi-peptide favourites. That way, you can get game-changing results at honestly super affordable prices. Sit back, relax, let's talk all things peptides. Now, before we get into this video, just that quick reminder to do all that YouTube-y stuff if you haven't already. If you could reach out and give this video a big thumbs up and a like. Honestly, this means the world to me because the more likes a video gets, the more widely YouTube will distribute it on its platform. And this is just a great way of making sure as many people as possible can discover our wonderful Mad About Skin family. And for that, I'm always so, so grateful. I'd also love to know your own experiences with peptides. Give me like your peptide before and after stories by leaving me a comment below. Reading the comments is always the favourite part of my day and I try to respond to as many as possible. So yeah, thank you for taking the time out of your day to leave a comment. Now, without further ado, let's cut that waffle and delve straight on in. So for this video, we're going to break it down into three different segments. I'm going to start off with a little bit of an overview of what are peptides, what they can deliver for the skin. We're then going to come on to some of the challenges with peptides. You know, people have increasingly started calling them out as being useless, worthless in your skincare routine, and we're going to tackle all of that and whether there's any truth behind it. Finally, I'm going to share with you my favourite multi-peptide serums, those available at beautiful drugstore prices that give you like a plethora of different peptides to harness the benefit of each and every one of them. If you want to jump to one section of the video over another, be my guest. The timestamps are all there in the description box, so use those to navigate your way through. Now, kicking things off with what are peptides? Well, they're a collection of amino acids that actually deliver a lot of different benefits for our skin. There are quite literally hundreds of peptides on the market and it can become a bit baffling. They all have super scientific names and so knowing which one to use to deliver the benefit you want can be a little bit tricky. Some of the benefits that peptides can give is certain ones can increase collagen and elastin production in the skin. This is great because the more collagen we have, the more firm and elastic our skin will be. Great for like anti-aging. We've got those peptides which can help improve the barrier function of the skin. You know, making sure our skin is in tip-top health and condition. Those that can hydrate us, those peptides that can fade hyperpigmentation or certainly help along with your hyperpigmentation journey. And finally, we've got those that just help with the overall functionality of the skin. You know, sending signals to instruct the skin to do certain things just help over time to you know, increase the skin's processes and just efficacy. With so many different benefits, it's not hard to see why people are fangirling about peptides and they're having their little viral moment at the moment. I honestly think peptides are wonderful and for me, I've got great results. Of course, as with anything in skincare, the results you get will be situational depending on your skin type and how it interacts with the product. So I always bear that in mind. But over the course of the last four years of using peptides, I've seen so many different changes. Straight off, I saw an increase in the levels of hydration in the skin. That's because peptides are beautifully hydrating and they can definitely also help to repair the barrier function of the skin, like I said before, which over time can increase the levels of hydration further. You'll see this pretty much from the first use, which is wonderful because whilst, you know, I'm always into skincare for the long haul, I do like those quick wins too. In the longer term, using peptides, I've definitely seen an increase in firmness, particularly around the jawline. Fine lines and wrinkles have appeared diminished and I definitely can see the benefit in terms of peptides for overall skin health. Because you can find some really affordable multi-peptide serums, I am definitely sold and all in on peptides and I would encourage everyone to try one out for their own skincare routine. However, in this section of the video, I want to talk about some of the things that people might be saying less positively about peptides so we can work out whether there's any truth in them, anything that we need to be aware of before we reach for that serum. So first up, um, I think there's definitely going to be an element of needing to set expectations when it comes to peptides. A lot of people call them out saying they just didn't get the groundbreaking results that they thought they were going to. 
Well, I think often that's because we haven't set our expectations correctly. Brands are often, you know, calling pop products like Botox in a bottle is the common phrase for certain peptides. People say it can be a game changing um, ingredient to incorporate. And all of this like hyperbole leaves us to believe that after just one use, our skin will be flawless, it will be line free, and that peptides are gonna be like the solution to all of our problems. In truth, peptides need to be used alongside other actives in your skincare routine to really get the best results. And I would encourage you to see peptides as like a key piece in that jigsaw, but not the overall picture. For me, like I said, got some instant results, but I also had to wait, you know, for like six months to see some of those long-term payoffs. So definitely see peptides as an investment. And that way, if you set your expectations right, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with the results that you get. You also see a lot of people saying that peptides can't penetrate the skin, therefore they're completely ineffective. Well, this has actually been disproved many times. Many studies have shown that peptides absolutely can get to where they need to be in the skin in order to deliver benefit. Now, not every single one of those peptides can. Like I say, different peptides work slightly differently on the skin. But definitely there is a volume of evidence that shows peptides can go into the skin, get to where they need to be to deliver these great results. Is it going to be the same as an injectable Botox treatment? Absolutely not. But it's also a lot cheaper and less invasive. So again, a little bit of setting those expectations versus the results you're going to get. But yeah, studies have shown just how effective peptides can be getting to where they need to be in order to deliver those wonderful results. I think finally, the reason a lot of people turn their back on peptides is they hear horror stories about just how complex they are to fit into a skincare routine. You can't use them with this, that, the other, and in the end you just think, maybe peptides are the problem. Maybe if I just remove them from my routine, I can just get on with everything a lot less stressfully. Now, peptides are a little bit delicate, but they're not so delicate that you can't use it in your skincare routine alongside other actives. The one active I would probably say not to pair with peptides is tretinoin, retin -A. I think some studies have shown it can impact particularly on copper peptides. But other than that, you're free to go. Use whatever peptides you want alongside your other actives and you'll get some great results. People commonly say vitamin C is a no-go as are exfoliating acids. Use these alongside your peptides, no problem at all, because peptides only become less efficacious, so lose some of their benefits when they're exposed to high heat, intense pressure, and a low pH. Okay, you've got a low pH with your vitamin C and your exfoliating acids, but you haven't got the high heat and the intense pressure. So honestly, it's not a problem. So let's just dispel that myth right now. Finally, you do hear those people that will say that you need to pay more in order to get more when it comes to peptides. And if you're going for a drugstore and a cheap option, actually you're not going to see any results and you're just wasting your money. That is completely incorrect. And I've got some of the best results from peptides that honestly cost next to nothing in comparison to some of their bougie counterparts. And that's really what I want to celebrate in this section of the video. Let's not go into too much detail and worry about the plethora of different peptides available. Let's just look for a product that has multiple different ones in there, so you're kind of knowing that you've got all those bases covered. It used to be the case that you had to buy your peptides singly, or if you were lucky, you might find a product that had one or two peptides within it. Now, peptide products have been created, like 16 different peptides, concentrations up to 30% of this key ingredient, so there's definitely a lot on the market. And I want to share with you some of my personal favourites. So let's kick things off with the latest Naturium Peptide Serum. Super lightweight, super affordable, feels gorgeous on the skin. And I'd say this is a great option for people that aren't, you know, are still not fully sold on the fact you can use peptides alongside other actives. If there's still that nagging doubt and worry in the back of your mind, get this product because the peptides in here are actually encapsulated and that encapsulation will protect them against you know your vitamin c's your exfoliating acids like i said before honestly it's not a problem you don't need to worry about this but if there's still that nagging doubt in the back of your mind reach for this because you'll know you can absolutely use it because of that kind of encapsulation that encapsulation also is beneficial because it'll reduce the risk of any irritation. So peptides, calming and soothing on the skin, but you know, as with any good quality ingredient, there is that small risk of irritation with certain people. If again, you're worried about that, particularly if you've got sensitive skin, I think this could be a great option to go for. Like I say, beautifully affordable, feels great on the skin and definitely, definitely packs a punch with multiple different peptides including copper peptides, which are there to boost the levels of collagen and anti-aging in your routine. I think this is just a wonderful, wonderful product. Now, 
A little bit of a hidden gem that I only discovered probably three months ago, but have been loving because just the sheer volume of peptides is this. This is the AHC 10 Revolution Real Eye Cream for Face. <laughs> Can we just forget that title? Let's just forget the name of this product. Real Eye Cream for Face. I think something was lost in translation there as this is the Korean brand. So we can excuse that. I think something was lost in translation. This isn't an eye cream. It's an all over face cream. And honestly, my skin is drinking this up and loving it. So this actually has 16, yes, 1, 6, 16 different peptides in it. There's some for anti-aging, there's some for fading fine lines and wrinkles, there's some that are going to help fade your hyperpigmentation, boost the barrier function of the skin. There's kind of a peptide in here for everything and this is one of the most hydrating serums you'll find. It's also got some great oils alongside those peptides so if your skin is going through it in the cooler winter months you want maximum hydration, you also want that peptide fix, this is just a great option. It's so cheap so cheap, which I love. So let me just show you. It's got this unique applicator, which I just think makes it really easy to apply. And you see how that goes on. Even though it's packed full of oils, it actually goes on as a cream. I'm not sure if that's picking up. But yeah, you work that into the skin. Use a small amount. You don't need a lot. But let me tell you, this is hydration overload and the most peptides you will ever, ever find in a single product. Well, that's currently available on the market. I love this. It's affordable. It's beautiful. It just is. It's going to be a friend no matter what your skin type is, which is why I think this is honestly a really great find. It's got some collagen to plump out the skin for some like immediate anti-aging results. And it's just got a plethora of other actives to the point where I think, you know, if you wanted to super streamline, you could cleanse the skin, use this, put your sunscreen or moisturizer on and go out of the door. Be good to go. And you get some really great results. Whilst this is my current fangirl favourite, I do also have some others that I'm always happy to call out. If your focus is anti-aging, then the Face Theory Poly Prep Collagen Boosting Serum is a great one. Four uh, peptides in here as opposed to the 16 in the other, but these four have been specifically chosen to boost collagen. So I think this one is definitely going to pay dividends when it comes to erasing fine lines and wrinkles, though the benefits of this are going to be a little bit more limited when it comes to, say, fading hyperpigmentation or improving the barrier function of the skin. Anti-aging is your goal. This one is stunning and such, such a great option. There are two other like honourable mentions that I'm going to throw in now too. This is the Ordinary Multipeptide Plus Copper Peptide Serum. So this is kind of similar to that Naturium one I mentioned earlier, but it's not encapsulated. So um, it just means you're going to get a little bit quicker mechanism of action, I think. It's going to deliver those results a little bit quicker. It's got the beautiful original um, blue colour, which is from those copper peptides in a real high dose concentration. Actually a higher dose of those copper peptides in here than with that Naturium. So I think this is a great alternative. I love both. I think the Naturium one, great for sensitive skin or people that are a bit worried about using their peptides alongside other actives. This is just a great all rounder. One of my favorite products from The Ordinary. Now finally, let's give a shout out to this. This is Medicaid liquid peptides. Huge concentration coming in at 30% of that key ingredient and a plethora of different peptides in here. Now this used to be my go-to and my favorite. I discovered that AHC one that for me, my skin is just loving. But this, this is an original and I think deserves a lot of credit because Medicaid were the first ones to do high quality, high dose peptides really effectively. This is a great all-rounder, and whilst it's slightly more expensive than some of the others, I think if you're the sort of person that likes to go with the OG, sort of the best peptide serum around, I don't think you can go wrong with this. Multiple peptides, high-dose formulation, and yeah, just a great all-rounder. Of course, there are so many different peptides out there. You know, I'm already kicking myself for not including the Skin 1004 Tone Ampule, which is another great option packed full of peptides. You can mix your own blend if you want to combine the Ordinary Azure Line with the Ordinary Matrixel. Really, the world's your oyster. But I would say, when it comes to peptides, people that call them out as being useless, unable to deliver the benefits you want, too complex to fit into your skin care routine, don't let them put you off trying peptides. Let the proof of the pudding be in the application and the results that you get. I've been using peptides consistently and I've got some great results, which is why I want to share them, dispel some myths in today's video. My top tip would definitely to go for a multi-peptide formulation. That way you're going to get multiple different peptides 
all at that beautiful and affordable price point. I think that's the key success, you know, to delivering the maximum results without having to spend a whole lot of your hard-earned coin. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, wherever you are in the world, guys. Stay safe, stay well, love your skin. Take care. Bye.